Hey my Chrissies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I prep my nails for an acrylic full set of nails. These tips can be used on any set of nails, but today I'm going to be doing coffin. So if you guys want to see how I prep my nails for acrylics, then just keep on watching. So starting out, I just like to clip my nails all the way down. Um, this step is pretty much optional. I know some people like to keep their nails longer. Um, I just prefer to clip them down so that I don't have like a space between my natural nails and the tips for like things to get stuck in and stuff like that. So for me, it just helps my nails last a little bit longer and look a little better longer. Next, I'm just cleaning up under my nails just in case they have any dirt or anything underneath them. I like to file my nails smooth before I apply my tips. I just don't like to have a raggedy edge on them, but this part is also optional. So oh, I'm just pushing back my cuticles and any extra dead skin that's kind of grown onto the nail. I'm also pushing that back. I'm getting all of the dead skin off of the nail is going to make sure that my acrylic really adheres to the nail and there's nothing blocking from the acrylic to the natural nail plate. Now I'm just clipping off some of the dead skin off of my cuticle area. Um, this part is optional. If you feel like when you're filing the nails after the acrylic is laid, like you might cut your skin or cut your client's skin, then you definitely don't need to cut the cuticles at this point. I'm really confident in going around my cuticle after I'm finished with my acrylic and everything. Um, some people aren't, so if you want to omit this step, you definitely can. It just makes the nails look a little bit better overall when they're all done. I also don't like to use a really sharp nipper because my nails are dry, my cuticle is dry. Um, usually if I'm doing like a manicure and I soak my cuticles and soften them up, then I'll use a sharper nipper to take my cuticle off. But for this process, I'm just using a bit of a dull nipper so that I don't cut my skin. Alright, so now I'm just roughing up my natural nail plate with my e-file. This can definitely be done using a hand file. I know a lot of people aren't comfortable using an e-file on their natural nails or they feel like they're going to damage their nails compared to using a hand file. The choice is really up to you. If you decide to use a hand file, then that's fine. If you use an e-file, that's fine. Um, you know, every nail tech has their preference. My preference is an e-file. Um, but I'm also going to show you on my other hand using a hand file and how you can achieve the exact same results. So on this hand, I'm just using my hand file exactly like I would use my e-file, just roughing up the natural nail a little bit so that my acrylic can adhere really well and to take the shine off. So 
So as you can see, both pens look pretty much exactly the same regardless if I use the e-file or the hand file. So just do what works best for you and you can achieve the same looks either way. Now I'm just removing any excess dust from my nails and then I'm going to be fitting my nail tips to my natural nails. I like to measure all my nails out first and then I like to glue them on. Now that all my tips are fitted, I'm going to go ahead and glue them on. You want to make sure to just use a small amount of glue, just enough to get the tip to stick to your natural nail. You don't want to use too much because you don't want to have glue spilling out onto your cuticles or underneath your nail or the sides of your nails or anything. Just a little glue to glue is great. You only need it to be there pretty much until it's time to lay the acrylic. That's what's really going to keep your nails on, not the nail glue. Alright, after I apply my tips, I just go ahead and blend the tip with the natural nail using a buffer. You can also use your e-file or your hand file for this part. You just want to make it a smooth transition from your natural nail to the tip so that it makes a smoother application of your acrylic. Here I'm just separating my skin from any glue that got attached to the tip or my natural nail when I was gluing my tips on. Now I'm just cutting my tips to the length that I like. I like to measure up the middle three nails with each other um, to kind of be almost the same length. I'll do the middle finger just a little bit longer than the ring finger and the pointer finger. I just like the look of it. Um, like I said, everyone has a preference on how they want to cut their tips. I just like mine to almost line up with each other. I think they look prettier that way. So 
now I'm just cutting my nails for the coffin shape, making sure that the ends of my scissors are lined up with the end of the smile line of my nails, just so that we can get a nice even shape. Don't worry if the nails aren't perfectly shaped after you initially cut them. We still are going to file them into shape a little better before we apply the acrylic and then again after. The most important thing is that you don't cut them too skinny at this point because you won't be able to go back and make them wider. So better to do them a little bit wider and then you can take them in later. Okay, so here's what they look like after being cut into shape. Now I'm just going to use my hand file to perfect the shape a little bit more, make them a little bit more narrow and a little bit more even. So you definitely want to take your time when doing this step. It's just going to make your job a lot easier when it comes to laying your acrylic and to shaping your nails after you've applied your acrylic. It just makes it a lot easier and it helps it go a lot smoother. Alright, this is what the nails look like after they have been cut and filed and buffed and all that good stuff. So next I'm going to remove all the excess dust and then I'm also going to go over the nails with alcohol and a wipe to remove any dust that might be stuck in my cuticles or anything that I wasn't able to catch with the duster. This also is going to help to dehydrate my nail a little bit so that my acrylic can adhere better. The last step in my prep process is to just apply a dehydrator or a bond aid and a primer to my nails and that's it. They're all ready for acrylic application. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or you found it helpful. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions for me, just make sure to leave them down below. I'll try my best to answer them as well as I can. Um, but yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye!